my phone screen is black and white so i don't really know if i have the right amount of light but it's too much okay so i have six days of really missed and why is that uh on friday was a public holiday so i was not around saturday i was not around sunday i was not around monday was another public holiday i was not around that day too so on tuesday i recorded the video for friday and the one for saturday i tried posting the one for friday i was not able to post it because i i don't i think the network went off that time i was not able to post the friday one the saturday one i was not able to export it until, until today so now i have sunday monday wednesday thursday friday friday's reading i have six readings i have six readings to do now six old readings today i'm doing two of them i'm doing the sunday and the monday one and then when i come back on monday i still have I still have like six waiting for me. I have Tuesday, I have Wednesday, I have Thursday, I have Friday, I have Saturday, I have Sunday, and I have Monday. I have seven readings missed when I come back on Monday. I'm going to try to yeah, I'm I'll try to record them all and I don't know what's wrong with my phone. It's just saving things on its own. So now I have to be editing. I have to work of editing this video along with all this stress I have in my The last time we stopped at Deuteronomy chapter 32. So today we are reading from chapter 33 to 33, chapter 34, Joshua chapter 1, Joshua chapter 2, and Joshua chapter 3. We have two readings today. So we gotta be fast. So, the Talmud chapter 33, take your Bible and read along with me if you have it with you. And let's begin. Chapter 33. Now, this is the blessing which, with which Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel. Please watch the last video for this, for the continuation here to make sense to you. Because the last video we were reading the blessings which the, which Moses was blessing the which, with which Moses was blessing the children of Israel when God told him to bless them with. So, watch that video for this one to make sense to you. Chapter 33. Now, this is the blessing with which Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. And he said, The Lord came from Sinai and dawned, and dawned on them from Seir. He shone from Mount, he shone from Mount Paran, and he came with ten thousands of cent from his right hand, came a fiery law for them. Yes, he loves the people. All his saints are in his, in your hand. They sit down at your feet. Everyone receives your words. Moses commanded a law for us, a heritage of the children, of the a heritage of the congregation of Jacob, and was king in, Jesh in Jeshurun. When the leaders of the people were gathered, all the tribes of Israel together, let Reuben live and not die, nor let his men be few. And this is said of Judah, Yea, Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him to his people. Let his hands be sufficient for him, and may you be a help against his enemies. And of Levi he said, Let your Tumim and your Urim be with your Holy One, whom you tested at Massa, and with whom you contended at the waters of Meribah, who says of his father and mother, I have not seen them. Nor did he acknowledge his brothers, or know his own children, for they have observed your word, and kept your covenant, they shall teach Jacob your judgment, and Israel your law. They shall put incense before you, and an old bond offering on, the, on your altar. Bless his substance, Lord, and accept the work of his hands. Strike the loins of those who rise against him, and of those who hate him, that they rise not again. Of Benjamin he said, The beloved of the Lord, the beloved of the Lord, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> the beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him. Who, who shelters him all the day long, and he shall dwell between his shoulders. And of Joseph he said, Blessed of the Lord is this land, with the precious things of heaven, with the dew and the deep lying beneath, 
with the precious fruits of the sun, with the precious produce of the months, with the best things of the ancient mountains, with the precious things of the everlasting hills, with the precious things of the earth and its fullness, and the favor of him who dwell who dwelt in the bush. Let the blessing come on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of him who was separate from his brothers. His glory is like a firstborn bull and his horns like the horns of the white ox. Together with them he shall push the peoples to the end of the earth and to the end of the earth they are the ten thousands of Ephraim and they are the thousands of Manasseh and Zebulon and of Zebulon he said of Zebulon Zebulon he said Rejoice Zebulon in your going out and Issachar in your tents. They shall call the peoples to the mountain. They shall there they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness, for they shall partake of the abundance of the seas and of treasures hidden in the sand. And of God he said, Blessed is he who enlarges God. He dwells as a lion and tears the arm and the crown of his head. He provided the first part for himself, because a long giver's portion was reserved there. He came with the head of the people. He administers the justice of the Lord and his judgments with Israel. And of Dan he said, Dan is a lion's whelp. He shall leap from Bashan. And of Naphtali he said, O oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord, possess the west and the south. And of Asher he said, Asher is the most blessed of sons. Let him be favored by his brothers and let him dip his foot in oil. Your, sh your son that shall be your son that shall be iron and bronze as your days so shall your strength be there's who oh, as your days so shall your strength be as you grow old you grow my strength it doesn't mean it to me there's no one like the god of jeshurun who writes the heavens to help you and and in his excellency on the clouds the eternal god is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms he will trust out the enemy from before you and will say, Destroy. Then Israel shall dwell in safety. The fountain of Jacob alone, in the land of grain and new wine, his heavens shall also drop dew. Happy are you, O Israel, who is like you, the people saved by the Lord, the shield of your help and the sword of your majesty. Your enemies shall submit to you and you shall tread down their high places. Then Moses, chapter 34 now, then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is across from Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead as far as Dan, all Naphtali and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah as far as the western sea, the south and the plain of the, Jer of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees as far as Zohar. Then the Lord said to him, This is the land of which I swore to give Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I have caused you to see it with your eyes, but you shall not cross over there. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord, and he, bur and he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, opposite Beth Por. But no one knows his grave to this day. Wow. Moses was 120 years old. 120 years. That's the, that's the number of years God said that humans will live when, when he destroyed the, when he destroyed the earth with water, when he destroyed the people with water, and Moses has lived that. Okay. His eyes were not dim, nor his natural vigor diminished. And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days. So the end, so the days of weeping and mourning for Moses ended. Now Joshua the son of Nun, now Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hand on him. So the children of Israel heeded him and did as the Lord has, had commanded Moses. But since then there has not risen in Israel a prophet like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face in all the signs and wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt before Pharaoh, before all the servants, and in all his land, and by that mighty power and all the great terror which Moses performed in the sight of all Israel. We have finished Deuteronomy with yeah, the story of Moses. Is it gone?
with the Tarano. Not like the his story is coming like that. But the end of the Moses story. I think that's the five book of Moses. Yeah. Joshua. Now, chapter one. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people, to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, and all the land of the Hittites, and to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. For to these people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and be very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage? Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the camp and command the people, saying, Prepare provisions for yourselves, for within three days you will, cro you will cross over this Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God has given you to possess. And to the Rebenites, the Gadites, and of the tribe of Manasseh, Joshua spoke, saying, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God has given you rest, and is giving you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your livestock shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side of the Jordan. But you shall pass before your brethren armed, all you, your mighty men of valor, and help them until the Lord has given you, until the Lord has given your brethren rest as he gave you. And they also have taken possession of the land which the Lord your God has given them. Then you shall return to the land of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses the Lord's servant gave you on this side of the, of the Jordan toward the sunrise. So they answered Joshua, saying, All that you command us, we will do, and wherever you send us, we will go. Just as we heeded Moses in all things, so we will heed you. Only the Lord your God be with you as he was with Moses. Whoever rebels, whoever rebels against your command and does not eat your words in all that you command him shall be put to death. Only be strong and of good courage. Chapter 2 Now Joshua the son of Nun sent out two men from Akasha Grove to spy secretly, saying, Go, view the land, especially Jericho. So they went and came to the house of a alot named Rab and lodged there. And it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, men have come here tonight from the children of Israel to search out the country. So the king of Jericho sent to Rab, saying, Bring out the men who have come to you, who have entered your house, for they have come to search out all the country. Then the woman took the two men and hid them. So she said, Yes, the men came to me, but I did not know where they were from. And it happened as the gate was being shut, when it was dark that the men went out where the men went i do not know pursue them quickly for you may overtake them but she had brought them up to the roof and eating them with the stalks of flax which she had laid in order on the roof then the men pursued them by the road to the jordan to the forts as so and as soon as those who pursued them had gone out they shut the gate now before they lay down they came up to them now before the lay down, she came up to them on the roof and said to the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land, that the terror of you has fallen on us, and that all the inhabitants of the land are faint hearted because of you. For we heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt, and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites who were on the other side of the Jordan, Sion and Og, whom you utterly destroyed. 
and as soon as we heard these things, our hearts melted. Neither did there remain any more courage in anyone because of you, for the Lord your God he is God in heaven, above and on earth beneath. Now, therefore, I beg you, swear to me by the Lord, since I have shown you kindness, that you also will show kindness to my father's house, and give me a true token, and spare my father, my mother, my brothers, my sisters, and all that they have, and deliver our lives from death. So the man answered, Ah, our lives for yours, if none of you tell this business of us, and it shall be when the Lord has given us the land that we will kindly and true that we will deal that we will deal kindly and truly with him. Then she let them down by a rope through the window, for her house was on the city wall. She dwelt on the wall, and she said to them, Get to the mountains, get to the mountain, let the pursuers meet lest the pursuers meet you. Hide there three days until the pursuers have returned. Afterward you may go your way. So the man said to her, We will be blameless of this oath of yours, which you have made us swear. Unless we come into the land, you bind this line line. You bind this line of scarlet cord in the window through, through which you let us down. And unless you bring your father, your mother, your brothers, and your father's household to your own home, so it shall be that whoever goes outside the doors of your house into the street, his blood shall be on his own head, and we will be guiltless. And whether it is with you, and whoever is with you in the house, his blood shall be on our head, if the hand is laid on him. And if you tell this business of, of us, then we will be free from your oath, which you made us swear. Then she said, According to your words, so be it. And she sent them away, and they departed, and she bound the scarlet cord in the window. They departed and went to the mountain, and stayed there three days until the pursuers returned. The pursuers sought them all along the way, but did not find them. So the two men returned, descended from the mountain, and crossed over. And they came to Joshua the son of Nun, and told him all that had befallen them. And they said to Joshua, Truly the Lord has delivered all the land into our hands, for indeed all the inhabitants of the country are faint-hearted because of us. Chapter 3, the last chapter for today's reading of 4. Day. That's it. Reading. Then Joshua rose early in the morning, and they set out from Akashia Grove, and came to the Jordan, he and all the children of Israel, and lodged there before they crossed over. So it was after three days that the officers went through the camp, and they commanded the people, saying, When you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, and the priests, the Levites, bearing it, then you shall set out from your place, and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it about 2,000 cubits by measure. Do not come near it, that you may know the way by which you must go, for you must have, for you, for you have not passed this way before. And Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Then Joshua spoke to the priest, saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and cross over before the Lord. So they took up the Ark of the Covenant and went before the Lord. And the Lord said to Joshua, this day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. You shall command the priest who bear the ark of the covenant, saying, When you have come to the edge of the water of the Jordan, you shall stand in the Jordan. So Joshua said to the children of Israel, Come here and hear the words of the Lord your God. And Joshua said, By this you shall know that the living God is among you, and that it will and that it will without fail. Drive out from before you the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Ivite, and the Perizzite, and the Gigashite, or on the Gagashite, and the Amorite, and the Jebusite. Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth is crossing over before you into the Jordan. Now therefore, take for yourselves twelve men from the tribe of Judah, one man from every tribe, and it shall come to pass, as soon as the soles of the, of the feet of the priests who bear the ark of the Lord the Lord of all the earth shall rest in the water of the Jordan, that the waters of the Jordan shall be cut off, the waters that come down from upstream, and they shall stand as a heap. So it was when the people set out from their camp to cross over the Jordan, with the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant before the people. And as those who bore the Ark came to the Jordan, and the feet of the priests who bore the Ark 
dipped in the edge of the water, for the Jordan overflows all its bank during the old time of harvest, that the waters which came down from upstream stood still and rose in a heap very far away at Adam, the city that is beside Zaretan. So the waters that so the waters that went down into the sea of the Araba, the salt sea, filled and were cut off, and the people crossed over opposite Jericho. Then the priest who bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firm on the dry ground in the midst of the Jordan, and all Israel crossed over on dry ground until all the people had crossed completely over the Jordan. The end of today's reading, the end of day that it's day reading of day 38 day reading <laughs> seriously of day 38 reading thank you very much for watching this video and I, right after this video I was supposed to record the 40s reading but for some reason my phone was saving the videos on its on its own so now I have to edit it I have to move all the videos to an editing software and match them together I have extra work to do and still wait for it to export whatever I'm going to shoot that video and I'm going to post it God help me mm. thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video please subscribe turn on notification to be notified when another episode goes live so you don't miss it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye again now I forgot to turn up the camera Sorry. <laughs>